Hello everyone. This week we will focus on alcohol. We will discuss the nature of alcohol and its effects on behavioral and physical health. We will identify the effects of prenatal alcohol exposure on developmental outcomes. Also, we will discuss alcohol consumption guidelines and define alcohol use patterns. We will talk about general conclusions from epidemiological evidence concerning alcohol use, misuse, and use disorders, and define key terms and concepts related to alcohol. Let's talk about nature and effects of alcohol. Alcohol is a psychoactive substance that leads to dependence. It causes 5.3% of deaths globally. Additionally, it contributes to over 200 diseases and injury conditions. Finally, alcohol causes numerous causes at work, school, and in relationships with other people. Different types of alcohol can be used for cleaning, as fuel or antifreeze in cars. The type of alcohol found in wine, beer, and liquor is called ethyl alcohol, or ethanol. Alcohol is a toxic, and sometimes deadly substance, that can be used in the liquid, or powdered form. Let's talk about alcohol metabolism. When alcoholic beverages are consumed, they are broken down, metabolized, by our body. This is done with the help of an enzyme, alcohol dehydrogenase. The process is directed by the liver and involves kidneys. In the first step, the alcohol turns into acetaldehyde. Acetaldehyde is a toxic substance responsible for many of the negative health effects, such as cancer and liver disease, hangover symptoms, nausea and headache, when too much alcohol is used. Next, acetaldehyde is metabolized by another enzyme, aldehyde dehydrogenase, and is eventually excreted from the body. Alcohol dosing. Alcohol by volume is a universal measure of alcohol concentration in beverages. It refers to milliliters of pure ethanol, in 100 milliliters of the beverage, at 68 degrees Fahrenheit, converted to a percentage. For example, 40% is a typical alcohol by volume value for tequila, vodka, and rum. Alcohol proof is an indication of alcohol content in a beverage. In the US, proof is twice the alcohol by volume percentage. For example, 40% alcohol by volume vodka is 80 proof in the US. The standard drink measure is a way of indicating alcohol consumption. Each standard drink equivalent is determined as 14 grams of pure ethanol in a beverage. Alcohol should only be consumed in moderation, and only by individuals, who have attained the minimum legal drinking age, which is age 21 years across the U.S. The moderate drinking, means up to one standard drink equivalent, per day for women and up to two drinks per day, for men. Binge drinking, or heavy episodic drinking is consuming four or more drinks, within about two hours by women, and five or more drinks in two hours by men. Heavy drinking, is defined as 8 or more drinks per week for women, and 15 or more drinks per week for men. High-risk drinking, is defined for women as 4 or more drinks on any day, which is binge drinking, or 8 or more drinks per week, which is heavy drinking. For men, high-risk drinking is consuming 5 or more drinks on any day, which is binge drinking, or 15 or more drinks per week, which is heavy drinking. Alcohol consumption leads to increased tolerance and withdrawal that can be fatal. Alcohol influences structure and multiple processes in the central nervous system. It leads to increase in intentional and unintentional injuries. In addition, alcohol has been linked with increased interpersonal violence, crime, child maltreatment, broken families and friendships. Finally, increased alcohol use is associated with liver disease, various cancers, heart problems, increased risk of tuberculosis and HIV. Blood alcohol concentration, or BAC, BAC refers to the percent of ethanol, circulating in a person's bloodstream, measured in parts alcohol per 1,000 parts of blood. In other words, a blood alcohol concentration of 0.10% is 1 part alcohol per 1,000 parts blood. Blood alcohol concentration is sometimes called the blood alcohol level. The U.S. current national guideline, used to determine when a person is unable to safely operate a motor vehicle, is 0.08% blood alcohol concentration. Let's talk about tolerance and withdrawal. As you remember, alcohol tolerance develops, as a result of repeated alcohol use, when you need to either consume greater amounts of alcohol, or drink more quickly, in order to achieve the expected effects. Tolerance, also means that the person, will experience diminishing effects, from consuming the same amounts over time. Alcohol withdrawal symptoms can range from relatively mild and unpleasant, to very serious and potentially fatal. They may begin within hours of when alcohol use ceases, to days after the last drink. Mild symptoms of acute alcohol withdrawal might include, shaky hands, headache, nausea, vomiting, anxiety, sleep problems, and profuse sweating. 
More severe symptoms of acute alcohol withdrawal might include, hallucinations, seizures, confusion and disorientation, rapid heartbeat, high blood pressure, fever, delirium treatments. Delirium treatments is a combination of symptoms involving severe mental and nervous system changes and mostly occurring in persons who have engaged in heavy drinking for multiple years. The mortality rate for acute alcohol withdrawal involving the most severe symptoms ranges from 5 to 25 percent. A person in this state may need to engage in a medically managed detoxification, also called detox, in order to be safe. Alcohol affects the brain causing difficulty in walking, blurred vision, slurred speech, slowed reaction times, impaired memory, and judgment. Up to 80% of people with alcohol disorder have a deficiency in thiamine, and some of these people will go on to develop serious brain disorders such as Wernicke-Korsakoff syndrome. The syndrome consists of two separate conditions. Wernicke's encephalopathy is a short and severe condition. It includes mental confusion, paralysis of the nerves that move the eyes, and difficulty with muscle coordination. For example, patients with Wernicke's encephalopathy may be too confused to find their way out of a room, or may not even be able to walk. Approximately 80-90% to of alcohol abusers with Wernicke's encephalopathy also develop Korsakoff psychosis, which is a chronic and debilitating syndrome characterized by persistent learning and memory problems. Patients with Korsakoff psychosis are forgetful and quickly frustrated and have difficulty with walking and coordination. Such clients have problems remembering old information as well as learning new information. For example, they can talk about an event in their life, but an hour later might not remember ever having the conversation. What are the physical health effects of alcohol use? The long-term drinking can damage the liver, the organ which is mainly responsible for clearing alcohol from the body by breaking it down into harmless byproducts. Many people are not aware that prolonged liver dysfunction, such as liver cirrhosis, resulting from excessive alcohol consumption, can harm the brain, leading to a serious and potentially fatal brain disorder known as hepatic encephalopathy. At least two toxic substances, ammonia and manganese, have a role in the development of hepatic encephalopathy. Alcohol-damaged liver cells allow excess amounts of these harmful byproducts to enter the brain, thus causing brain damage. Hepatic encephalopathy can cause changes in sleep patterns, mood, and personality. Psychiatric conditions such as anxiety and depression, severe cognitive effects such as shortened attention span, and problems with coordination such as a flapping or shaking of the hands, are also common. In the most serious cases, clients may slip into a hepatic coma, which can be fatal. Some evidence suggests that small amount of alcohol is linked with lower risk for heart disease and cancer. However, high-risk drinking has been linked with high blood pressure, heart attack, stroke as well as various cancers, for example in mouth, esophagus and stomach. Drinking during pregnancy can lead to a range of physical learning and behavioral effects in the developing brain. The most serious of them is a collection of symptoms known as fetal alcohol syndrome. Children with FAS may have distinct facial features. These infants also are markedly smaller than average. Their brains may have less volume. And they may have fewer numbers of neurons that are able to function correctly, leading to long-term problems in learning and behavior. In the United States, 35% of individuals do not drink alcohol, and 37% drink at low risk levels. However, about 28% drink at levels placing them at risk for alcohol use disorder, or other serious health consequences. 51.1% reported having used alcohol in the past month, considered current use. 24.5% reported binge drinking in the past month. And 6.1% engaged in heavy use during last 30 days. Let's talk about treatment needs. Research suggests that 3.9% perceived a need for specialized alcohol treatment during the past year, 1.6% made an effort to receive treatment. There is currently no consensus on the need for formal treatment for alcohol abuse. While many clients get help from therapy providers, many others can successfully reduce their drinking problems without professional help. People who have developed the alcohol use disorder may benefit from behavioral counseling, coping skills training interventions, contingency management, behavioral couples or family therapies, or medication-assisted treatment. Detoxification might be necessary to safely manage the withdrawal period. Alcohol is often displayed positively on social media. Moderate drinking helps many people relax and enjoy the fellowship of friends and family. In other cases, excessive drinking can lead to child neglect and maltreatment. In addition, alcohol use can be linked with family and dating violence, aggression, rule-breaking, and criminal behaviors. Co-occurrence of alcohol misuse and problems in the areas of personal health, work, or relationships with others should be assessed, 
and relevant interventions should be used to reduce drinking and alleviate problems associated with alcohol use.